Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Welcome to a brand new week here at Hunky Dory TV. What a week we have got lined up for you. And we are kicking it off today with a brand new launch, uh, which is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I have to say it's, it's one that's caught my eye and I have, I don't know, I just, I really like it. The colours are just beautiful and I think it's just going to be so useful. Uh, we launched it on the Hobby Maker yesterday and it was mega busy. Um, so I think that's a, a good sign that you are going to love it just as much as everybody did with Kat yesterday. Um, let's have a look who we've got with us today. We've got Emily looking after us. Good morning, Em. Good morning. You okay? I'm great, thank you. Good. And in demonstration station, it's Natalie Fancy Pants. How are you? Good morning. I'm okay. Yeah? Yeah. Good? Yeah. It's been um, a busy weekend for me. I had have lots you of had birthdays. A busy weekend? Uh, we have birthdays too. Yeah, we, we have, have birthdays. Lots of shared birthdays. We do, don't we? It's very strange. It is, because we have the 11th of March, which is my sister and your granddad. Granddad, yeah. And then do we have the 6th of February as well, which yeah, is my which mum is and my your sister? sister. <laughs> it's yeah. So it's weird. It's very, isn't it? very strange. So, yeah, been busy. Been seeing everyone. Busy, yeah. busy. Yeah, so we're going to have a nice chill morning today. We were just it saying is. it's quite a nice, easy show because yep. it's it's a big collection. There's lots to it. It's so easy to craft with as well because oh, it's just so gorgeous. Yeah, definitely. I feel like it's one of those you can just get out and work with and not really have to think about no. it because it's just and so... all of the elements, you just want to cram everything into yeah. every single card you're making. Oh, well, I'm very it's excited amazing. for demonstrations. Um, but before we get started, let's have a look at this week's Winnie Weekly. Look what we have for you today. 
we have got four lucky winners of these incredible little books. So we have got multiply number seven, which was the wizardry uh, animal alphabet, which everybody absolutely loves, and also pressed flowers. Uh, we also had these on Hobby Maker yesterday. Yes. Emily, can are, you, you, are we sure we've got enough of these? I, <laughs> I was just thinking. That. Can you guess how many little books this old on Hobby Maker yesterday, Emily? I don't know. Have a little guess. How many little books? It so the, yesterday, it was way more than what the number you've got in your head. Yesterday was the first time that they'd ever done like a dedicated show to like the kind of three for two promotion. Um, so yeah, it was it was fairly busy. What do you lots. think? She's she's thinking, isn't she? <laughs> We've put her on the spot, haven't she's we? Thinking. Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. We Ooh. sold almost 450 little books on Hobby Maker oh, yesterday. Wow. It was crazy busy. It was so, so busy. Um, and, and I was really quite surprised because sometimes with th offers that we do here, you guys know them. You know the three for two. But obviously with Hobby Maker still being relatively new, yeah. you don't always kind of grasp no, the offers take, the same it's way. Taking, it, it works a little bit differently as well on their website, doesn't yeah. it? So it's not something that's you've got to do a very, drop very down obvious. yeah you have to kind of like pick from certain ways so yeah i mean cat had an amazing she day. had such a good day her yesterday demos as well yeah her she demos were incredible honestly just every single time i'm just in awe of everything she does um but we are giving away three uh, four of these fabulous bundles today uh worth 29 pounds 97 but can you answer our question correctly oh my goodness I wish I could consume this many. How many pints of Guinness are consumed on St. Patrick's Day? Is it 2 million, 13 million or 7 million? So it is St. Patrick's Day on Friday. Um, how many millions pints of Guinness do you think are consumed on that day? That's a lot, isn't it? I'm going. I'm going to go for thirteen million. Do you know what? I'm tempted to go for thirteen. I don't I think it's two. It's, I reckon it's no, oh, no, absolutely not. Two million is probably just in Ireland alone. Well, this is what I was thinking. And then you have to think about how many, um, like how big it's celebrated over in America. Yeah, sort of like yeah. The, the Irish population and all the there. Irish pubs there are around. Yeah. Like, there's like, and like even in like and just like regular day to day Guinness drinkers. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> just have to be because it's St Patrick's Day. But I mean, on St Patrick's Day, it's. Do you know what? I've never Guinness. had Guinness. I really am so sad about the fact that I can't drink it because it's uh, it's so nice. Can you not drink it? No, oh, this is sad. it's the one thing that Guinness haven't sorted out. We need to you write. Need to, a, we need, need to write start a, a petition, don't we? There are like other breweries that do like a gluten free stout, which is very similar, okay. but it doesn't. It's just not as creamy as Guinness. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Emily, do you like Guinness? I don't. You do don't. you not? No. Maybe it's just me being maybe weird. Maybe I need to try I'm it. Just weird. Maybe I'll just have a try. Yeah. And I think see if maybe I'm in like the Guinness you could probably do half a pint. Yeah. It's, it's a very, very particular taste. Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. But it's nice. Okay. Dan was drinking coffee Guinness at the weekend. It's Ooh. a new thing that they brought out. It absolutely stunk. And you know how much <laughs> I do not like coffee. And I was like, this is. I was like, just drink it quick. Because see, I, I like can coffee. Smell maybe it. I like that. Oh. It was. It, it smells well if you like coffee you're gonna absolutely love it but i just know oh let us know let us know the answer to the question let us know if you like guinness i think it's 13. I, i'm going 13. I, I just think it yeah it's gotta be it's gotta be okay um are you ready to take a look at this fabulous new collection uh, before we get into it all we're going to have a look at some of the wonderful cards that the team have made Okay, are you ready? Right, first up, we have got oh, the Luxury Topper Collection. 
Now, obviously, you always get your inspiration sheet included. Um, you can get a real vibe for this collection just from that sheet there. You can see all the fabulous colours that have been captured. Um, you've also got some more on the reverse, um, as well as some of the coordinating items that we're going to share with you today. So, um, we do have, like, kind of four different colourways captured in here, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, four very distinct sort of yes. colours, I think. Um, you've got two really like, kind of like nice muted colourways and then we've got some really bold and vibrant yes, colours Yes, let me move over a little well. bit so we can get that in properly. So you're going to get two of everything. Um, look at that Ooh. accent foil. Wow, it's beautiful, isn't it? You're going to get um, your foiled and die cut topper, your foil cardstock and of course your printed cardstock. Oh my goodness, how pretty is that? I mean, just cutting that in half and just having two really beautiful oh, A5 yeah, card blanks. So nice. Um, then we get this colour. This is the colour that we've coordinated to today, isn't it, Nat? Yeah, um, it was very much thought about. It was. I'm getting ready this morning. Me, me too. I was going to go green, but I don't own a lot of green that's not quite busy I with other colours. I have a green top, actually. I'm in the midst of um, going through a bit of a wardrobe crisis. Oh, are you? Though. Yeah, it's all just piled in there, so I don't oh. know what's actually in there. Oh, no. Yeah, we need to sort out. But look how stunning that colour is. You've got that beautiful watercolour artwork as well that is just so gorgeous. And I love that kind of sage green that we've got running through the whole thing to kind of tie it all together. It's really, really beautiful. Look how rich that red is on those roses. So nice. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's just, it is one of those collections that you are just going to turn to all the time. Look at this. I mean, how gorgeous is that for like a sympathy card or thinking of you? It's so delicate, isn't it? I all, I think like wedding cards as well. Yes, this one is so definitely. Nice. Yeah, it would be absolutely gorgeous. And I mean, with the other products we have coming up in the show, we can transform these cards to so many yeah, occasions. Definitely. Um, this bottom sentiment uh, just down here, I just want to read this to you. The best memories are the ones we make together. Oh it's so beautiful um again your fabulous foil cardstock two of each i love like the the accent foil detail we have on the flowers like no it's, it's, like it's just those dots, little, like, isn't it yeah, like confetti those little elements that you've got and and that is sort of like replicated throughout this whole collection i think like with, yeah with um all the little sort of like just speckles yeah it's kind of like gold dust isn't it it is it really is and then we have the most stunning kind of aubergine shade it is just gorgeous. It's really nice. Isn't it's it just lovely? It's so different as well. If there is no dream, there is no hope. Keep on dreaming and let your dreams blossom. Oh, so nice. So, so nice. And then again, you're going to get your foiled cardstock. Really, really beautiful. And your printed cardstock. Oh, my word. Again, just cutting that in half and gate making folds. the gatefolds. Yes, that is going to be so pretty, isn't it? Uh, so that is your topper collection. You can, of course, buy that um, as it comes for £19.99 or £17.99 if you are a Diamond member, um, which if you're not yet, why not? Come on, just get involved because it is awesome. So we've already made a saving there of £2. Uh, we also have our wonderful inserts and papers for you. Uh, so you're going to get 36 sheets in here. So 24 of your inserts and 12 of your double sided papers as well. Um, just look how delicate these are. They are the perfect finishing touch, aren't they? They're just going to finish off those cards and give you that truly professional finish every single time. But again, you know, using them as, as papers, not mm. just as inserts. Because they're so delicate, they kind of fit with the artwork beautifully. Oh, so, so nice. We're getting to my favourite bit. We're getting to the papers. Um, oh, look, look at them. Oh, my word, they're amazing. And then, of course, you do have that full kind of solid colour on the reverse as well. But it's just so nice. It's just that gorgeous sort of mottled yeah texture it's beautiful isn't it it gives it that sort of like vintage yeah feel. it's so nice the, oh. the designs that have been chosen for these papers are just they exquisite are. you could use them on yeah. every single card really definitely they are just delicious aren't they um eight pounds 99 for your papers there if you are a diamond member along with your inserts so 36 sheets in total and then 
we've got our square little book of especially for you um this is just beautiful um, you've got 25 different designs in here um, and you're going to get six of each so you can do all of your um, decoupage if you want to um, I love how these have got some gaps in here I mean Ooh. wouldn't it be perfect if we had something that would fit in Absolutely there amazing if you did that stay tuned um, oh, I love these just so simple with the frames you can be cutting those frames out you know doing a little bit of um, fussy cutting in there and create kind of apertures Oh my word, this is going to be one of those that you just come to so often because it's it is so, so beautiful. It's just that you don't have to do hardly anything. I mean, we've seen those beautiful papers, just matting and layering those onto yep. the papers, adding some sentiments. It's gorgeous. This one here, where it's got that kind of gold detail in the background there with the rose, you could go over that with your quickie glue pen and add Ooh, your gilding glitter. flakes or Ooh, your glitter. I didn't even think about gilding flakes. To get that kind of foil effect, it would look amazing so so pretty oh, again another one of those oh look at that green it's so deep isn't it it's beautiful such a, a gorgeous sort of um coming together of the the rich tones yeah and the more muted tones and it just works so nicely together oh it's that's nice delightful. i like that a lot just really simple cards can't they they don't have yep. to be really fancy these are lovely. These would be so sweet for like little thank you notes. They really would be gorgeous. Another one there, absolutely stunning. Um, and again, here if you're thinking, well, actually they're a bit too fussy for fussy. Use your trimmer and create your like kind of pyramid effects. Yeah, you could do that. You um, could get your dies in on these as well. Yes, yeah, your dies would look amazing. Or even just cutting out one layer, you know, like the chunky kind of florals. Yeah. Just one layer would be all that it needs. Uh, so your little book there is £9.99 or £8.99 if you are a Diamond member. Um, we are heading over for a demo. I'm very, yeah. very excited. So straight in, we're going to use the Blossom in Dreams because this one's just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and I'm going to so do pretty. one of my favourite card shapes. But I recently folded my folds the other way around. Okay. And I gave it like a completely different oh. look. So we're going to do that. Um, I'm going to cut this to 10 and then we're going to cut to seven on the trimmer here so and what is the then, regular kind of fold that it is oh well, i don't know what oh okay is it a natalie original yeah I'm okay not, i'm not we're not at that yet okay. you'll, you'll be able to see when i get there so i'm then going to use my trimmer on the scoreboard i've lined this up to one over here and we're going to go from one all the way to six and then we're going to flip this over do exactly the same so we don't have to think about where these are meeting up and one all the way to the six and then we're going to bring in our scoreboard and we're going to score our cardstock here uh, between our cut lines at one at two and at six again just using that as a, a nice guide yeah you want to make sure it's straight though so just around there and then we're going to score it at five on the top and the bottom so i'm just going to flip that over again as well just to make sure that we can get that nice and straight and then at seven and a half we're going to go down to where it sort of meets this flower here okay all the way through yeah yep so just guiding that down there and then all the way through there but so you're not normally, actually pressing over the flower there no 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 we're not no. going to do that because we're going to fussy cut out that flower a nice. little bit more. so i've done some of the more floral edges just to help um with the speediness of putting this together um, but we're just going to go around sort of like these larger edges now because i think it comes to just here um, let's go around that flower there and then oh here and that should meet up where i have already started my fussy cutting on this piece so normally if i was going to make this i would fold this piece backwards but what we're going to do is we're going to start with this fold and i'm going to fold this so it's out in the front so let's just get my knife there and fold that one inwards and then we're going to fold these pieces backwards as well okay and then the center pieces instead of folding those inwards they're now going to come outwards so just oh, okay. maneuvering this space you don't want to 
sort of go in too much straight away because we don't want any extra folds where we no. don't need them to be so let's just fold this now up there this is going to come together and now instead of it going inwards it's going to sit really nice on the front of your card so normally when i make this style of card i literally have this piece panel sort of at the back and oh, then this piece coming through so yeah it looks like that normally yeah that would be the way it shape it would be but oh, i've just like transformed it yeah and done it this way it just gives it a whole another look and if you've got something on the edge of your cardstock it yeah. actually allows you to sort of bring that out but still keeping all that fun detail and does that go into a seven by five it does yes amazing does. so we're going to try and keep that there um, and i'm going to use the smaller the smaller toppers on this one because we often just go in with this, the big ones don't we yeah but i'm going to use these smaller ones so we've got these really nice edges on here um and that sentiment as well if there is no dream there is no hope keep on dreaming and let your dreams blossom so we'll pop that out of our frame and i'm going to add some of our skinny tape that one's too big let's get our skinny tape on here so just moving this around onto here and then i think let's just look at placement first of all because like i said i still want you to be able to pop that into your five by seven but if we pop that there and then this just off here oh, i nice. think we're going to be able to yeah so i'll start by sticking this down you could go with a seven by seven anyway if you, you could it out do a bit, yeah you? you could absolutely do that i mean i've cut this down to 10 so it it fits within yeah um a five by seven but if you want to keep that um little piece on there then you absolutely can and it's going to make your card bigger with this design sort of shape within that so let's just stick that in there i want do want to leave a little gap on the edges just so you can see that green coming through mm -hmm. and then we'll add this on with foam pads so sticking those on there that's going to fit on here we're going to add our other sentiment on um, and that's just going to fit on the edge oh, there so gorgeous. let's just put some strips down the center and i'll double up on these as well so that it does just stand ever so slightly up off there so let's add that in to here so you can still see all of the beauty yeah. the beautiful word and on there we're not trying to cover that up so that can go on there and then i think we need to bring in a bit more of that purple so i'm gonna go with i don't think there's a sentiment on here that works you know okay so i'm gonna bring in something else you're gonna mix and match I'm oh bring she's, in she's cheeky this in. one um i'm getting there before before it is next, so you're okay and i'm gonna <laughs> use the especially for you i think because I think that sentiment works a lot nicer with this um, message that we've yeah. got in our bigger sentiment. So let's add that one in and that's bringing in more of that purple. Um, and then I'm also going to choose from the bottom who we're going to gift this to. So there's so many options on here wow. um, and they're all foiled beautifully in these strips. So we can just use our trimmer to trim them out. And I think we're going to go for, um, for our fantastic niece, which is nice because it's a little bit different yeah from who you definitely. would normally send a card like this to so just using your trimmer in here and then i'm also going to use it this way as well because we have the ability to just in cut our in, yeah. amazing trimmer to just cut that in and then that should just pop out and let's just trim that piece off the edge there as well so that is going to be our Stunning. greeting so let's pop the I think we might go under here so it just Ooh. goes on top we'll lay that in so i'm going to use a piece of foam and let's hope i've done it the right way around I think donna I has said i love the shape of the card i'd need to practice on other card stock because i wouldn't want to waste my hunky dory ones honestly yeah. it's so simple once yeah. you've got those sort of one inch guides down cut it to make a five by seven anyway yeah and then just from one to six and then you can score in between it's so so simple to do so let's add our to our fantastic niece across here i've added more foam pads there so it lifts up and sits really nicely 
and then our especially for you is going to go across the top here and then that is it amazing absolutely stunning that is so beautiful um oh, it's just lush isn't it i was just thinking about um our gemstones when i was looking at this yeah i was thinking we don't have any that are that kind like of an color, color. But i know you that's can what use i was, your I was thinking markers, about that because i was like i do want to add them but i don't necessarily want to have gold I mean, this one might look really nice with the greens. Let's just see. Oh, because you can it. obviously colour your... Because it's very specific, like yeah. this depth of colour, isn't it? I mean, this one works really nicely, this green. Oh, here. that is nice. So if you wanted it? that look green that. colour, that's with them are 429, which is really going to work that with the colours nice. in here. I mean, look at that already. Oh, my word. It's a perfect match. Um, and then I'm just I thinking which know. one. Have you got the I think it might be there? this one. I don't know if purple is going to work. I don't know if it needs to be. I oh. think this 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 is more of the red colour yeah. that we're looking at, which is the um, five three eight. But no, where are the purples? I don't know if oh, we've what's got. This one? Oh, is that one got the deep on it? It's got four nine two in. I think that's really pink. Yeah. We need. Mm, we need the 491, which is the grapey colour, really. Yeah. I don't think we've got it. No, we? I don't think we've got it in here. But there's so many different ways in which you can add gemstones. I mean, if we're just going to go really classic gold, or if you're going to colour them in like this so that they match perfectly with the kit, you absolutely can do yeah. it. I mean, we've got ribbon with this selection. Oh, we do. We've got and some beautiful so ribbons. And there's so many good colours in there as well. So you could add colour in by a little adding a piece of ribbon. There's so many ways in which you can transform what you've already got to work yeah, with this kit. definitely i mean that that card is so beautiful um i would be testing that if you weren't 100 percent sure you can test this on like print paper you oh, know yeah, just like yeah, a sheet of yeah. paper just to get the scores in the right sure place it all sits properly and, and maybe just keep that as a bit of a guide with your measurements on so you know for next time and then when you do do it on your proper cardstock you're not worried you're not you worried then? yeah um we just need to have a look at emily's pack shop because i didn't go to it right at the start and she's so done such good. a wonderful job um how it's beautiful huge. does it look when you get everything out this is what you're going to get home for an amazing price of 26 pounds 97 if you're in the um in the diamond club that is insane isn't it 26 pounds 97 um you're getting everything you see there obviously you've got that incredible 10 pound saving which is basically a free little book it's that's how i think about it when there's a saving of like 10 pounds <coughs> or your inserts are free um and your double-sided papers it's really really incredible value um but we do have more things to show you so shall we have a look at these beautiful sentiments that natalie has just sneaky, sneaky peeked um, because you do get, let me just turn them out, they're all higgledy piggledy at the back, there we go. Um, you do get quite a lot of variety within here. So you're going to get this wonderful sheet, which has got, uh, you're going to get two of everything, which has got um, some of your larger kind of uh, relatives on here. Not larger, just larger in size. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I mean. <laughs> Um, on here, not in real life. Um, so we've got mum, daughter, grandma, sister, wife, fiance, cousin, girlfriend, mother, auntie, granddaughter, niece, and then you've got all those little bits and pieces at the bottom so you can make it to a wonderful niece, for example. Um, number one cousin, you know, whatever you want to put on there, you've got that variety. Um, and then you've also got them again, but in those different colourways. So you've got that kind of paler, um, kind of sage green with the pinks and again uh, you've got those extra words along the bottom and then you're going to get these incredible ones that Natalie's just used um, again you're going to get them in the two colorways so you can see exactly what you get in here but so many sentiments on there um, you know you've got all sorts on here you're so special on your special day a note to say congratulations for a very special couple from our family to yours just for you Happy birthday, especially for you. Good luck. Thanks a bunch. Sent with love. Deeper sympathy. Lovingly handmade. That's not even all of these. No. That, that's just the top half. There's so many on here. To the best Nana I could wish for. My perfect grandmother with love. World's best auntie to the happy couple. So many sentiments on there. It's just crazy. Um, do we know how many elements we have in total in here, Em? It's 42 sentiments and 44 banner sentiments wow wow and you're gonna get four that's insane. four of those 
so that's that's crazy isn't it that's math that we cannot do uh we'll leave that with you eight pounds 99 if you're a diamond member and um, these were so busy yesterday in hobby maker we did have to add some extra stock in yesterday um it, it was crazy busy and perfect aren't they yeah i mean i love like relative names this big yeah they me make too such a they, they can be just a little added element on your card or they can be the main element yeah. of your card and they work so look well how together. how gorgeous these look. They're just beautiful. And even just like the banners there, like the little extra sentiments, really, really beautiful. It's, it's sometimes so sad when you have a kit that you don't have a, the right sentiment for. Yeah. So having that is not going to be a problem, is it? Coordinating colourways, you, you're never going to struggle with no. that absolutely not uh, so that is your relative sentiments collection and then we also have a brand new essential for you uh, which is going to be added to kind of like our core range so this is our ink me letter coins so we've brought you the letter coins um in quite a few different kind of mediums we've brought you resist and reveal ones we brought you craft ones uh we've okay. brought you kind of printed ones um but now we're just bringing you I don't want to say just like plain boring ink me because it just opens up so many more options for you because they are just white ink me now you can ink these up to yeah. coordinate with whatever you're crafting absolutely perfectly um 576 individual elements gold and silver foil so you've got whichever one you need there um and still, the gold ones work so well yeah, with this collection they really do um they're just going to be fabulous seven pounds 19 what an insane price that is for 12 sheets it's just absolutely crazy 576 letters in total and you can color these in with your ink pads you can color these in with your brush markers you can use your alcohol pens you could use your glimmer mist you can use anything on here to color them in to match your project you can leave them plain white anything at all um absolutely amazing there uh, for just seven pounds 19. um okay i think we're coming back over to you now it's okay i'm ready i'm ready so for this one we're going to use our little book when you use those pages and i'm going to bring in those big big sentiments so i've chosen oh, to do this, this so one pretty. i really like this one but we are going to fussy cut it so we've got three here um to be able to make this one so i'm fussy cut around sort of like the outside edges of my flowers but i've been i've been really um i've not gone too fancy with this because i know sometimes you don't have sometimes we're not confident in doing that sometimes yeah. Sometimes it just doesn't work for us to do that. So I'm gonna go just around these little buds here. And then I'm gonna follow this gold sort of line that we've got created. I am gonna leave a little white edge on this as well. Um, but just follow that edge until we meet the other side of here. And then we're gonna flip that over and do exactly the same again. So just running that along there. And then let's see what this looks like when we pop it out because um, i have oh, that's so a nice. few different options for for this i think i'm just going to take a little bit more of this edge off here just because it comes quite far down i guess here as well another option to do this would be to use your circle die yeah and then cut the flowers and kind of pop them back over the top absolutely you know if you if you weren't confident doing this in any way but there's so many different options yeah. for this one so i've got my sort of like main element ready to go now um we're gonna start by let's let's finish building this up now so i've got um my sort of flowers sort of ready to go so with one set i've kind of gone in and i've added the leaf details as well so we'll stick those ones down let's just get my other one i'm gonna add my tiny little squares on here because they're going to fit really nicely on this and then on my smaller one up here as well you can obviously use our even tinier ones if you want to get in all of that leaf detail and make sure that that's stuck down or sort of like your 3d glue gel would look really nice here because then you can oh, shape yeah. all of those flowers as well Definitely. and sort of like bring those elements up you can obviously move those leaves around as well to give this even more of like a a fuller look on your card so let's just do that on this one as well and then my final 
layer is just going to be the floral elements so this is really easy to do and we can do this with our scissors we can just go around that really nice detail and i love cutting flowers out because they're so much so they're not very precise no and you can sort of get around sort of all of the different elements and even if you cut off a little bit because we're decoupaging this up it's just going to look like even more dimension yeah. has been added so let's go down here to this piece and then back around this flower up here and then our sort of like topper section it's kind of complete when we've added these ones on so again if we just turn sort of like the edges of our paper up it's going to lift this image up off our card so add in those foam pads in and then let's stick that up on there again so you're getting all of that height and dimension from those flowers just really coming out of the page now add in another one in on there and then we're going to come back to this in a moment because we're going to do some a little bit something more special so for um sort of like the base of my card i'm going to bring in some of our coordinating mattastic and some of those papers so we're going to do this seven by seven so i'm going to start off by just trimming this down to seven and then let's bring in this gorgeous sort of really nice aubergine color and i'm going to do that at just two notches under for my matte and layer of course if you want to make more out of your mirror you could be using your mirror mats here or you mm -hmm. could be fussy cutting out the center of this so you can use it we might do that actually because i do want to create another matte and layer for this so if i do this six and one all the way around and just have this at one that should be mm, it might be a bit too small we'll see because i think i've done my maths wrong <laughs> i think it's going to be too small we're just going to leave it <laughs> we're going to leave it there's no point faffing even more and then we're going to bring this gorgeous um color in as well so this is going to be let's see this one was too below so if i do that at here oh it's so nice so this is at sort of just two notches below seven and a half then that's going to give me a really thick edge here so you can see that gorgeous design and it's just going to tie it all in really really nicely so that's going to fit on there and then i've also got some More sneak <gasps> peeks so i'm going to use this acetate this is my favorite um, piece of acetate and what size is this because i'm sure so if i do this at five five and a half by five and a half that's going to give me a little bit of an edge so we've got that sort of sparkle oh sort of sitting behind there and then what i want to do i think is have this deeper color Ooh. just sort of sat behind it you need some more maybe well the thing is i didn't know whether i was going to do it that or whether i was going to bring in white because i do like the freshness of that mm. color behind it like what what it was before I just wanted to add in so let's we'll do it with white okay and i'll do it at five and a quarter so it just sits underneath there and we can tie the white in with some more elements that we've got coming as well so let's stick all of these pieces together i'm going to add my tape onto here and on here debbie is asking if the little book is fantastic it isn't this is all on our regular um adorable scoreable so it's, it's all glossy and gorgeous which is just phenomenal isn't it yeah i think it just adds to the depth of the color yeah um, it does actually that little shimmer and shine yeah definitely so we'll add this piece on to there just sticking that panel down we're going to go in with our beautiful piece of paper which we're going to stick oh it's nice and so pretty as well. Oh, it so just makes then, me so happy <laughs> <laughs> it's just so nice we're gonna take this piece and i'm gonna stick this around it on here because i'm gonna stick this straight onto our acetate so using my double-sided tape because i'm not it's just gonna sit behind there it's not gonna be sort of 
construction-y in any way so I don't need to be too crazy about that one popping this on there so you get that nice edge around the outside that is and so then this pretty. is going to sit on here and to create even more depth we're going to go in with some foam pads oh yeah so I think I'm going to use these ones. Our strips would be really good for this as well. Yeah. But I definitely think I can get away. This would be a nice effect to to actually bake your um, base card out of the acetate as well. This Ooh, kind of yes. idea. I love using you see how pretty that base looks cards as well. straight away. Yeah. It looks so nice. So adding that in there. And then because I want to make sure that this doesn't droop in any way, we're just going to fill in some of those gaps with some tinier squares because that's the worst thing when you go to all this effort yeah and then it doesn't sit the way you want it to so we'll just peel that off and lie this over and it's just gonna because we've got lots of dimension already with the different levels of and different colors of cardstock that we've got having this what a special card this is on your acetate it's just going to lift it up even further so then that can fit on there i think i'm going to go in with another little sneak peek, we're just going to add... Oh my word, you are the queen of sneak peeks today. There's just so much <laughs> in this collection, you can't not add it all in. It's beautiful. Karen has just said, I knew I was going to buy this when I saw it yesterday. I've used all my rewards. This is, that's what this they're is there for. This is the perfect time to be using yeah. those reward points. So let's just wedge this around here. I don't think it's going to fit to that piece. Making sure it's nice and central. And we can just stick this now on here. White is definitely Oops. a good call. It looks gorgeous in the white. I think it just lifts it up, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Sticking that on there. And then this again, doubling up on our foam pads, just so it really stands out on here. I'm gonna add that in. And then we're gonna go, obviously Mother's Day is coming up on Sunday, isn't it? So we're gonna go in with our mum and our mum's white as well, oh, which is really gonna perfect. work with this. And you we've got- keep, keep hold of this one, Natalie. Gorgeous pieces. And then you're ready for Sunday. I will be. <laughs> so this, oh, let me just see if I can hold that while I stick this down. It might just hold it in place a little bit better there we go oh that looks so beautiful so mum is going to be our sentiment from this selection that we're going to use so let's take that out and these are just where those bits and pieces because they are quite be careful thin careful with it don't you yeah yeah there we go that's better sometimes when you pull them out they can kind of bend and then and once that's you've what got I'm that really crease in. really trying not to do. I don't want to bend it because yeah. I want it to stand really Aww. nice under here. So my mum is going to fit I think in this little space here. Oh that yeah. Because that's really going to work nicely. We've got two and then we've got so many different things on here. So I'm going to put a two a wonderful mum. So let's go over here like so and then we can just use our scissors for these little pieces so just popping that off there and then we've got some more white ribbon left so we might just add a little bow to this Aww, beautiful so we've, i love the fact that you've got lots of different options on here as well because yeah. we've got mum we've got mother We've got wife, you might be sending a, a, a Mother's yeah. Day card to your wife. We've got um, gr grandma as well in here. Um, so there's so many different options for sending Mother's Day cards with these. And yeah. I think obviously it's just around the corner, but get these in your baskets because these are gonna work for yeah. birthdays, so many different occasions. So this is gonna sit just under, because I've lifted these pieces no, up can I can sneak it sneak it in sneak it in just under there and just under there perfect so mum is going to fit there and then to a wonderful we're just going to add that in as well and then a little sneaky bit of ribbon and we're done 
So to a wonderful mum, I'm going to pop that up here. Aww. So it just creeps in there. And then I think if I can make it, because it's not it's that a tiny much little left, piece. it's going to be a tiny little bit <laughs> to go at the top of our little wreath that we've got here. I'm going to just stretch those edges out. You get there in the end, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Just corner off those edges. It's just so elegant, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. so just phenomenally gorgeous. There's not one card that you're going to make with this kit and it's not going to be a standout card on here. So glue dots, as always, are just the best thing for your, for your ribbons. So I think we'll go on the bottom. There's a lot nice. more space in there and that's going to fit really nice. That within looks there. so yeah, fabulous. Yeah. I mean, that that is a super special card, isn't it? We've got foiling on there. We've got acetate. We've got decoupage layers. We've got ribbon. But it's not taken a long time. It hasn't taken a long and time. And you've not actually used that much of your stash. No, and there's not, you, apart from you kind of fussy cutting, a lot of it is just matted and layering. Yeah, but so it, it's just the importance of matting and layering, yes, isn't it? Yes, it and just shows. And the yeah. levels of like creating different depths, like doing two, um, two eighths of an inch, doing yeah. a quarter of an inch, it makes it look so different. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you're selling cards or, or you know, if you maybe you do a little sneaky buy of cards as well, how much would you pay for that? You know, it's just such good value when you break down how many cards you can create with this kit. And that is just one. How many sheets did you use actually from your little book? Uh, three. Three. And you get six, don't you? you so get, yeah. Oh, no. so, do you, yeah. 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 So you can do another card exactly the same. Um, so yeah, you could, you know, even if we halved, no, yeah, half the number of cards you can make with your little book and said, you know, you're going to use three sheets on every single topper, that's still. 70? 70? Because it's 150 sheets in there. 75, yeah, 75. 75 cards that you can still make just with that little book and some basic matting and layering. It's crazy. It's insane. Insane. Okay, let's have a look at that gorgeous acetate because oh, it is just absolutely stunning, There's isn't it? There's some really gorgeous designs in here with this one as well. Love this one. I mean, think about how you can colour this in as well and add some colour to all of those gorgeous roses. Do a little bit of fussy cutting uh, with those as well. Uh, we have got that stunning rose corner. Let me pop it on the side so you can see that better. How beautiful is that? Such a delicate design, that one, isn't it? It really is. Uh, and then we have this kind of leafy... <laughs> Um, I think it maybe goes that way. Mm. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous with the kind of little it rose buds like on the there. On. It's so pretty, so pretty. And then here it is, the star of the show. I absolutely adore this one. You can have it obviously um, kind of going up so or cascading down or coming at the sides. You know, you, you're going to be able to use this in so many different ways. Uh, they are all foiled in gold, but obviously remember they're all silver on the reverse as well. So you've um, got options if you don't want to use it with this collection, you want to use it with something that's foiled in silver. £10.79. You're going to get four of each of those sheets in there to give you your 16 sheets in total. And it is that 220 micron acetate, so it's that super heavyweight. So it is perfect for using uh, kind of to create your the fronts of your cards, you know, actually using it as your base cards if you want to. Look how beautiful that looks, just bringing it in um, kind of as the front of the card. This one I love. Oh, this is a cat special here. It is, and it? it's stunning. It's so clever. It's just beautiful, isn't it? So elegant, so stylish. Another one here using it as a shaker card, oh, just in clever. the middle there. That's very clever. Super cute. And then another one here where it's just been used around the edge of the topper but mimicking think, that shape honestly i think this is a really really nice way of using your yeah acetate. it is it just puts hints in it it does it? it does and if you're one that's maybe wary of using acetate because you're not sure how to stick it this is a brilliant way of using yeah, it because it hides, you, it hides everything yeah so clever it's fantastic isn't it absolutely stunning so that is your acetate we do have that gorgeous adorable scorable selection for you as well um i mean just looking at this let me put it the right way up because uh, the, the names are on the back uh we have got pink flamingo oh my word uh we've got the lovely lilac we have got pure white we have got violets oh, soft sage essential so essential. this color the rose petal um it works perfect doesn't it it it's matches so nice you it know it brings out the different tones of 
pink look that you at have that in your it's incredible it really is um and then we have got our burgundy and then we've got that green holly as well to kind of bring in all those fabulous green shades you can see when you when you see this together you know it just works doesn't it really really beautiful eight different <laughs> colors and you're going to get three of each to give you your 24 sheets in total just eight pounds 99 there um and then we have the gorgeous ribbon selections um emily do you do this yeah. <sighs> fabulous it's really good isn't it isn't it um so you can see all the wonderful colors that you're getting in the ribbons here which the the fabulous natalie selects you do such a good job every time because i think i've quite, done a, a, a really like quite thing. often my own trumpet here but this is a, a hard collection it is select the colors and for. you don't often have the collection in front of you no it's, it's on not, screen it's on which the screen, yeah. is really really tricky because the, everything looks so different on screen than it does in real life um so yeah it is a wonderful selection of ribbons a again you can see all of those colors i mean look at that green so many of the different colors on like the greens are going to match with everything yeah. because they, they just run through all of your colours. You've got white gold. This we did one. add like a silvery grey in there as well. But when you see the some of the artwork in here, especially on the one I'm yes. using next, you do have those silvery Like this tones one, you could bring in that silvery grey easily. This colour is beautiful. Let and me just bring in... Just with this, you wouldn't necessarily think you know you'd go for that kind of darker purple that you've got in here but that actually looks really nice and so sometimes it's more it's kind nice of complementing than matching yeah. yeah definitely so so nice so you've got 12 different colorways you are going to get three meters of each uh two, two meters, meters of each sorry <laughs> uh, i just reverted to the normal eight times three then <laughs> we um, switched it up this time we have switched it up this time well i think you've just done an incredible job you really have because that is just the perfect selection isn't it eight pounds 99 um it won't come to you displayed like this beautifully this this is ours uh i mean we could have a word with them but i think she's a bit busy um absolutely gorgeous and then we're gonna have one final look at the whole collection together before we head back over to natalie um so you can just see just the color it's everything just delightful oh it's so I so beautiful i can't imagine someone not wanting to buy this no it's no. beautiful or, or not want to receive a card made with this yeah. either you know it is so stunning um you know you've got so many different colorways captured within this one collection that you do really have something for everybody and then if you add those relatives in as well you can just literally personalize it for everyone as well okay we are coming for our final demonstration and we are going to use enjoy the simple things i really really like this one and like you say i think it's so good for maybe those more difficult occasions because of the colorways we've got in this one so we're going to use this we're going to use our foil cardstock and we're going to bring in some acetate as well so i'm going to start off with a seven by seven and this is just because i want to make a tent full card we're actually going to cut into it so i'm going to start off by cutting it down to five and that's going to make me a five by seven tent fold and then i'm going to line this up at three and i'm just going to use this um as like a guide i'm not going straight in because we don't want to go all the way through but just to sort of line that edge on there and then we can go in with our scissors to cut this away so just taking off that front now i think i just need to help this out a tiny little bit with my scissors so this is going to be our card from i'm going to take this panel here and i don't need this to be um all the way at five so i can just take off a little slither which gives us like probably a seven by seven panel there okay and then i'm just gonna also remove a tiny tidgy little bit more off this just so you get to see it in all of its glory sort Ooh, of like coming down the center of nice. that bit there so let's just cut that down to seven and then we'll start by cutting our panels from our cardstock as well so i'm going to take this um beauty here and we're going to cut it at this line so it's just i'm going to go one on uh, no let's go for three we'll take it off the other side because at three you get that really nice graduation of color on the other side and then we're going to take this down by two just because we are going to add some beautiful gold mirror behind here so that is the panel for the front of our card with this one now i could do this across the bottom but i think we're going to stick with it down the side so let's just trim that again 
So just taken out of that centerpiece, but you've got enough there to be able to make a beautiful um, DL card. Oh yeah, definitely. Absolutely gorgeous. Mix it in with some of those patterns as well from your papers. You're gonna be making loads of different sizes of cards here. So let's just move this out of the way. I've got my mirror ready. That's already cut down for me. Um, so I'll just add in my tape onto all of these panels. And I'm gonna add my tape onto here as well and then this panel too so let's start by adding our mirror in I'll just take off my tape from the front of my card and then I'm going to line this up with the edge that's a really cool technique to sort of like piece that card yeah. back together you obviously have the little gap at the front, but that's not an issue at all. No. And to be honest, it's actually easier to be able to make this style of card because you're not having to yeah. think about that sort of extra piece there and how we're going to hide the workings as well. So then let's go in with our... Ow! These be knives careful. are really sharp, you know. Yeah, this, be careful. I've had so many injuries on this one thumb in like two weeks. Sharp knives. Sharp <laughs> knives. Just flinging around the place. You need to go back to knife throwing school now. I do. <laughs> Clearly did not learn enough. <laughs> uh, this selection seems to be sharper than normal though. I don't know why. So adding this on here so you've got that real nice just thin gold edge which I think sometimes complements your cards mm -hmm. especially when they're for like more delicate occasions. Yeah. Adding, ooh. Is it not stuck on? No, I thought it's it was, you it's not finger lift either. Yeah. It's not finger lift. So I don't ever use finger lift. I prefer I love it. the it's, regular one. It depends on what I'm doing, but I do love how speedy it is. I mean, this comes off just as quickly, especially if you've got like your poke tool yeah, or your craft knife. Yeah, it's just getting in, isn't it? So that's going to sit on the inside. Oh, it's going to look fabulous. Line, having that so. green run down the middle of that acetate. Look at that! It's like I knew what it's I was like doing. You planned it. It's like I knew what <laughs> I was doing here. And then I think again, I'm going to focus on this sort of smaller topper. Yeah. The best memories are the ones we make together. I mean, you could literally just add a really small sentiment on there. Yeah. And kind you of could keep use it the others. That. Couldn't yeah. use from the other collection. I'm going to put enjoy the simple things as well oh, up that's here. So nice. And then I think maybe just to because there's quite a bit of white space up here actually no mm, not too soon to go in with ribbon let's do i'm gonna do Ooh. i'm gonna do them both i was gonna say they're both nice and i'm gonna be a little bit tricksy because i'm gonna stick them straight onto my card which is something that can be quite frightening actually <laughs> and i'm saying it out loud it's we're, not something we're gonna do it we really like to do but we're gonna do it on one side it's gonna be fine because we're gonna be it's gonna be hidden by the sentiment yeah it's sort of like these edges here that can be a little bit a little bit scary but it'll be okay so i'm gonna go for the darker color on the bottom here just making sure you really stretch your ribbon out because it when it's once it's stuck yeah it's not coming off there you may be um i wonder if you get a cleaner edge but i mean if you've got a nice clean pair of scissors oh yeah scissors are going to be the best that helps but i'm wondering how does it cut with a craft knife i'm not suggesting you do it on your um i'll try it your bit you're trying to cut because what? <laughs> what if it doesn't what i'll if try it's rubbish? it i'm all for trying crazy things you know what i'm like hmm quite nice quite oh, nice that. indeed should we do the other one with scissors so we can and see the difference see. i'm here for the trial and error i think a craft knife is where we're at you know is it yeah we took let me get really really close can you see no are we there yeah it's not it's gonna not be gonna in focus, focus is, on it? It, is it yeah is it because these are in the way there you go there we go it's oh, ever yeah. so slight but can you see that little feathering it's a little bit fluffy so yeah actually craft knife for the win you can't see it when it's this no. this sort of small, so it's absolutely fine. Um, and then our finishing touch, obviously, our gorgeous 
um, pieces here. Now, if you are someone who likes to hide your workings, this is now where I would get a piece of white card. This is not big enough. Um, I would get a piece of white card and I would draw around the shape of this here because once we've stuck this on, you Looks can like then that. now <laughs> cover it over yeah. on the other side. You could um, also just put your foam, foam pads on the on edges, I guess, bit. couldn't you? Yeah. yeah. Because I've oh, you can only see yeah. that bit there, but if you just draw around it, then we're going to hide. So them. I'm not quite as fussy because no. I think anyone that points out details like that in your handmade cards uh, it's don't bit deserve mean, them. Isn't it? <laughs> Little bit mean. So let's add this on, and I'm going to just add my foam pads to this panel here, and then I'm going to put one up here, and then this is actually a tag shape as well we've got a little hole that comes out of there so we can finish that off with a little bit of that coordinating ribbon that we've got just coming off the sides here so we'll go for that really nice dark lighter green color that beautiful sage Myra such has a said, stunning color this um the acetate would make a really pretty bookmark ah uh, yeah it would actually it would be really sweet use our... it like a detachable one maybe that goes on the card and then they can take it off yeah it's like a bit of a gift you could use our tag punches oh yeah and then that banner punch yes and you could have it so it, you've got like a front and a back and then it's like kind of like slides on yeah, your page that would be really sweet that's cool i like those ones because um, then it's not gonna fall out as easily no is it? and viv has said i melt the ends of the ribbon so it doesn't fray very clever that is clever but that sounds like a recipe for disaster for us in here it all yeah it also sounds like a health and safety nightmare yeah we um we it's struggle with craft that, knives, never yeah. mind fire. I don't I don't think we're down for flames. But it would definitely, <laughs> definitely work. And then there you go. Oh, it looks so pretty. Look at that. There's so much foil detail within this as well that I just think oh, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It really is stunning. Such a gorgeous collection as well, isn't it? So yeah. nice. Have you got your hands on this? Have you ordered yours yet? So many people are saying it's fallen into my basket i love it so much because it is it's just so beautiful and hopefully that natalie's shared some wonderful ideas with you that have inspired you even more as well um so tomorrow today tomorrow monday tuesday tomorrow pauline will be on hobby maker um she has got one three five and seven and she's got a brand new rainbow brights collection Ooh, that's oh that's gonna be a good show that fabulous so we've done like foil on colour, like coloured foil on coloured cardstock. It looks amazing. Um, so it's going to look absolutely gorgeous. So you can join her tomorrow. Um, she's also got another show with you, especially for you. And say it with style. I need to check the stock of that because I'm not I'm not sure. Do you know what? I'm not All sure. All these cards enough. with this collection are going to be outstanding. Yeah. She loves a floral collection. She does. She? Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be fabulous. And then tomorrow on Hunky Dory TV, it's Natalie and Rachel, and we have got brand new diamond deals for you. Can you believe it's that time of the month again already? It's crazy. Where does it it's go? Too quick. It's crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. Uh, thank you all so much for joining us this morning. Uh, we have loved having your company and we will see you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your Monday.